This is my very first video that I've ever done here on YouTube. Um, it was inspired by a video that I watched the other day uh, by a YouTuber, Alan from Sound Speeds. I believe it's Sound Speeds. Um, very, very awesome channel. I've learned so much from him. I work in the movie industry and uh, I, I work mostly uh, as a second teamer. I've actually worked on set with him. We're both from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, but I've been watching him uh, as far as uh, giving his advice on sound and setup and equipment and uh, just an amazing channel that everybody should subscribe to. He's, he's phenomenal. Uh, I'm no, in no way a sound guy uh, per se or, or video or anything. I do um, run and gun. I do some talking heads. I shoot a few commercials. Um, but sound is really important to me. It used to be video, but sound is much, much more important to me now that I've been doing this a minute, and uh, I uh, saw this video where he was um, critiquing a video by DSL D DSLR video shooter, uh, Caleb Pike, I believe his name is, another great YouTuber, and he had a full wireless um, portable uh, sound bag uh, from, from headphones to microphone to everything. And sound speeds, uh, Alan was critiquing the pros and cons to that. And I thought that was a very interesting video. And then he just recently uh, put out a video, uh, I think it was uh, today or yesterday, about uh, another YouTuber that was explaining why wireless setups are not necessarily idea and can definitely have some, some cons to it. Um, well, that prompt, prompt me to finally make my very first video here on YouTube because I have been using pure wireless, uh, fully wireless for about a year and a half. I've done it on multiple short films, commercials, and talking heads. Uh, I'm a hobbyist though, so I do things on the weekends and stuff. I work on set during the weekdays. So I'm not doing this day in and day out like some of these professionals like Alan from Sound Speeds. But I just wanted to chime in, and and uh, I'm not defending anybody or criticizing anybody, but I want to explain my setup and how it's worked for me with no problems. I've had no problems out of it. Um, this is my sound my sound bag. It's my portable sound unit, and it's um, it's phenomenal. It works absolutely great. I've had no problems with it. Uh, it's completely wireless. It's just an entire sound bag that's uh, and it holds. Um, or I, I can I can uh, I can handle uh, with this setup I can handle six people I can mic up six people but I typically mic up no more than four and then I use my other wireless system um, that I'll show you here in a minute I use it for the boom so typically no, I've never had to mic up more than four actors and a boom mic in one scene uh, that's not not really typical to do any more than that mostly it's two. Uh, but uh, before I get into it, uh, yeah, I just want to say that it's 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 worked great for me, and I just want to explain all the things that I have and the products that I have that has given me no problem with interference. Uh, my system has 96 channels to pick from, so no matter where I go, I I find a way out as far as uh, radio inter radio frequencies, and um, yeah, and that's about it. So uh, let's get started. So this is my bag. It is actually made by Zoom, and the bag is actually made uh, for the F8 8-track field recorder that I'm using. So that made it convenient that it was just kind of set up and made for it here. But that's the kind of bag I have, and I'll give the exact uh, description of the bag uh, in, in the description. But this is what it looks like. And... Of course, the main unit, again, is the F8, is what I use, eight channels. And um, this over here is going to be my wireless unit. And I have um, two receivers and four transmitters. One, one receiver handles two, the other one handles two. Um, the brand I'm using is uh, Comica. Look at this. Um, Comica. I don't uh, know much about more about it. I've got a... They work great. Uh, they're robust. They're made of some kind of aluminum alloy. There's no plastic on them besides the battery compartment itself. But other than that, they've worked fantastic for me. I've had no problem with them. They got 96 channels. Um, here is the actual, if you can see that on camera, 
the Comica WM200A is the setup, and I have two of these. They're not that expensive. I want to say uh, a couple hundred bucks. They're really, really, really cheap. So I'm working with the two receivers, uh, the four transmitters, and then the Rode Wireless Go system, uh, Rode Wireless Go 2, which is one uh, receiver with two transmitters. And with that, I have six channels of audio, but I only use five, really. Um, because I use the Rode Wireless Go strictly for the boom. Um, <clears throat> here's how I got the bag configured. So over here on the side, I have, it's hard to see, but uh, this is channel five. And so this is basically, let me see if I can take that out. This is basically just a uh, eighth to a XLR adapter that makes it to where I can plug my uh, channel 5, which is my wireless go, Rode wireless go, because of course, you know, on the other end, it's an eighth inch. And I plug it in channel 5 on this side. This cable right here is nothing more than just my headphone adapter, and that goes with my wireless uh, unit, which you'll see here in a minute. And then over here, I have... XLR stereo splitters, one, two, three, four, and uh, for channel one, two, and three, and four. And what's great about them is that with the, um, with the, um, well, how do you say it? Uh, with these splitters, uh, since one receiver uh, handles two transmitters, um, I can split those channels one and, and, and hear them individually if I want to uh, and mix them down individually. So it's really like the receiver works is, two receivers to two transmitters. They're completely uh, separated. And I have two sets of those for having two sets of those. And those just go to a quarter inch, these little quarter inches, so I can plug one into one and one into the other. And that is my, <coughs> my inputs. My box itself is a little bit uh, modded because what I did is uh, you can't see it, but these there's hard wood in here, in here, and knock on wood, and it makes it ru ru rugged so I can put stuff heavier on top and it won't cave in. So I kind of reinforced it with uh, some some very uh, one eighth inch plywood on each side with some Velcro, and that opens up. And of course that's my switcher and my D tap cables, but this is kind of a storage perfect place for storage. So. That's how I set the bag up. Now, <clears throat> before I put it all together, I want to go over the other components that I have. Uh, I'm working with, like I said, the Comica two systems, the Rode Wireless Go. I'm also working with my wireless inner system. This is the wireless inner system, and it is called a Phoenix Pro PTM11. Uh, you can hook multiple, <coughs> excuse me, multiple transmitters to it. I just have one. Here's a better look at it, if you can see. Uh, and I, of course, I bought all my stuff off of uh, affiliate links off Amazon. And I use the transmitter here with a, a pair of wireless in-ears. I've tried headphones in the past, um, and this comes on with just a click. It's just that simple. And then it comes on, and it's already on the channel. You can see it's super super simple um, I've tried I've tried headphones in the past I had some uh, some uh, Sennheiser 380 pros that were really really good but the amplification wasn't really that much and I just hated having stuff over my ear and over my head so I, I opt with uh, some very budget friendly uh, in-ears these are called um, I don't know if you can see them I don't know if my autofocus works on this thing or not. But anyway, uh, they're called KZ-ZS10 Pros. And uh, they're probably roughly around $60 or $70 for these. So they're, they're really cheap in-ears. Um, I don't recommend to buy these to listen to music. Uh, because the bass frequency is not, bass response is not that great. I think that they're great for dialogue. Uh, that's why I'm using them. They're more of the, on the, they're more of the high sound, mid, mid range. So they work great. And what I really like them over headphones, in my opinion, is the amplification is so much louder. I'd say two or three times louder on these than they are 
$300 headsets. Um, I don't know why, but that way when I'm running, when I'm needing to listen, I don't have to crank my headphone amp up super, super high um, and get all that hum or that air, that hush sound, you know? So this, these, I can turn it way down. I can, I can keep this pretty low or I can crank the whole box if I want and get a good clean signal to it. So those are the headphones I'm using. And then um, the, the wireless um, microphones that I'm using, the lavalier mics are X5. They're made by X5, these, these two right here. Um, they're very, very small. Of course, they, they have the, like the Sennheiser screw-in thing, which works great for these guys. But uh, that one thing I love about them, if you can see it, there's no way it'll probably yeah. Anyway, you can see it's very, very tiny and it works really good uh, under clothing um, and hiding because it's a three millimeter head. And these are, I think, 80 bucks or something. They, uh, not that expensive at all. I feel like they work really, really good. I got two pairs of, I got two pairs of those. And then I, they're more backup. If I'm only doing a two person, I'm going to go with these. I think they have a little bit higher quality sound to them. Um, but they're not quite as as uh, as sensitive as these as far as uh, loudness. You can definitely get more implication out of these than you can the deities. But these are deities, and I have two different deities. Even though they come in two separate deals, I, I just keep one in here and one in here. And I have two different ones. This is the VLOV uh, Pro, and this is the VLOV Pro Micro. Uh, there's definitely a little different frequency response. I think the, the Micro is a little bit more... Um, Thinner sounding. I think it's more mid-rangey. I think there's a little bit more dynamic range in the VLOV Pro uh, myself, uh, but the micro is actually more expensive. But I do love how it's three millimeter head on it is just fantastic because it's just easy to hide. But but this one's also like what four millimeter or something. I mean it's not. They're both great, and then uh, just different uh, uh, micro dots to put to put on them. So that's what I'm using there. Those four lobs. And then, uh, believe it or not, I'm not. I'm using nothing more than this Rode uh, NTG Video Mic NTG, I think it's called. Um, and it's a microphone, and it works. And I know it's not a super high end one. Um, it's um, pretty cheap. I think I paid like two hundred dollars for it or something. Uh, but I've been booming with it for almost a year, a lot of shorts, and I have got great audio out of this. Uh, I can't compare this to super high, more expensive microphones uh, because I haven't used them. So for that, I can't, I can't, uh, Allen from Sound Speeds is, is definitely the one that you want to go for. And, uh, and Curtis Judd uh, also is a great YouTuber. They, are, they go deep into microphones. And there's, there's other ones. Those are, those are two that I've studied. Uh, and uh, they might look at this stuff and say, you know, this is not even mid-tier, uh, but at the same time, this is budget-friendly stuff that has worked for me as a hobbyist. Uh, I don't do this for a living, um, so it's, um, it, it, they, it's worked absolutely great. I've had no problems out of the Rogue at all. One thing I love about it, because I actually hook it up with the wireless receiver, so I'm wirelessly boom. Like I told you, this is a total wireless setup uh, with no cables. Um, aside of the the in ear that goes to your backpack, if you count that, I'm sorry, but <laughs> but uh, yeah. So this is a wireless system where you don't have to carry the bag with you. The bag can be completely separate, and you have your boom and your um, and your uh, ears completely separate. So, yep, I'm using the Rode Wireless or NTG. I can't remember exactly what this thing's called. <laughs> Rode Video Mic NTG. Yeah, and it works great. And so that's what I'm using there. So that's all the stuff that I'm using. And then, of course, I use, uh, I, I power all these off of, uh, I power all these off of, uh, off of uh, oh, EBLs. These are EBLs. Um, rechargeable batteries, 28, 28, um, 2,800 milliamps. And I've got about 30 of them. And that, I think it's way overkill. I mean... Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, and I've got like thirty, and I never have to use them all. And um, so that's that's my hookup. That's my that's my equipment side of it. Now hooking it up is pretty 
pretty really simple. Once you've run the wires, I didn't take all the wires apart for you guys, I'm sorry, but it's just a lot of cabling. Uh, but I can explain to you what they all are. So this guy is just nothing more uh, than going into the channel five that's, that is uh, sending the signal to the wireless go um, receiver. So that's gonna be for the receiver. These, this is gonna be the power. So this will be the receiver and this will power the receiver. So I'm powering the receiver while I'm, while I'm running it. And then I'm also powering the two other receivers of the Comicas. And uh, these are just little adapters for streamlining. Uh, you don't have to have these. Um, I'm, these are actually the rogue cable. These are just the regular rogue cables with these little adapters on them. And that powers them. So I power one, power two, power three here. Then power four is powering my wireless transmitter box. <clears throat> and then um, well, running the audio to them. So these, this runs the audio uh, to both of the uh, receivers. And then this, this goes into the wireless headset, the quarter inch, it goes in and out to the headphone. <clears throat> I mean, I'm sorry, in, out to the headphone into the wireless receiving unit and transmits to your in-ears. So you can listen to everything that you're recording. That's the cabling, it's real simple. Now, if we put it together, we're gonna do this. First, we grab this guy right here, the PTM11. I do nothing more than just Velcro. It's just Velcro. It's simple. It's not even expensive Velcro. Some of Velcro I think come from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I probably should get better Velcro for sure. Uh, that hooks up right there. And then we plug into the inputs, which is the headphone. And then we'll plug um, the power. AC power, and that power goes to a D-tap, and that D-tap will, I'll show you in a minute. Um, so that's that's all that takes right there, and that's ready to go. Now, we're gonna put uh, our receivers on. So we put one here, and it's just like I said, Velcro. This is really cheap Velcro too. I need to get some better Velcro. I really think I bought this from like the dollar store, but it's working. And these are really robust too. They're, they're metal, uh, metal, so everything's pretty solid. That's one thing I like about it. And then here you go. That'll handle channel one and two. That'll output to channel one and two, and this will output to channel three and four. Now you have four microphones ready to, ready to go. Uh, and then I power those, like I showed you. I power those uh, via the USB-C, because these are USB-C hookups. Um, I cannot see. Well, I know you can't see because I got my head in the way. Sorry. Um, and then another one. Let's see. Let me let me leave this over so we can see. And the other one. Boom! Just like that. So that's those two. And then I'm gonna put the receiver for the Rode wireless um, Go Two. I just put that little guy right here. Stick it right there. And I'll be powering it via USB-C. And I will send the signal via the eighth inch. This is it. This is, this is really the bare bones of, of my setup, my wireless bag completed. Um, let's turn it around so it looks cooler. Yeah. Uh, and so this is how I run everything, just like this. And then... <clears throat> Then uh, these, these guys right here go on my, my talent, um, wireless receivers. I mean, that's, you know, all that. And then you know, these go there. This is all just kind of a, in storage. Now, how do I power it? I'm gonna show you that real quick. I come here, I open up this, uh, I call it the storage compartment. And this bad boy right here, I love it. Andy Cine, 95 milliwatt. D-tap, V-mount battery. I hook this guy up here. I'll hook it. I'll hook it here. That's going to control the F8. It'll power the F8 because it has enough voltage to do it. And then I'll hook this guy up here. That'll power the. Um, that will power the. Um, oh, that one came out. Um, the the wireless uh, wireless transmitter. That powers that guy. 
So that's the only two things I really use that for. And then I use the USB hookup. Okay, sorry, I had to answer the door there. But yeah, so uh, this uh, little USB hub right here is hooked into this little 10 milliamp battery bank, which runs this for eight to 10 hours. All three of these, no problem. I mean, it's never went dead once. Um, the, the same way with the, uh, I ran, I did probably a 10 to 12 hours, the longest I've ever done on, uh, with the wireless pack and the, and the F8 going off of the Andy Cine V-mount battery. No problem. I think it was like a little less than 50% after 10, 12 hours. It was, when you buy one of these, you pretty much take care of everything. They're, they're fantastic. So that's my power setup for all that. And then uh, just to, I won't go into any details, but just to show you that, you know, that it all powers up. Oh, <laughs> you have to turn the, I've done this many times. <laughs> you have to turn the hubs on so people know that they're connected. So this should come on, this will come on. And of course this guy will come on. And so now everything's powered. Um, oh, we also got to power up the uh, wireless unit so you can see that. That's nothing more than a power button right there. And there it is. You, it's not the clearest of, of being able to see, but everything is powered on. Everything is running. And this is, like I said, this is completely, completely wireless. And I've never had a problem out of it. I've never had an interference problem out of it. Um, wow, it's just fantastic. I think this recorder is fantastic too. Um, anyway, shut everything down. Boom, because nothing actually connected. Shut it all down. And shut this bad boy down here. And that is my wireless bag system in a nutshell. Um, now, let's talk about the Rogue. So the Rogue NTG video mic, NTG, however you say it. Uh, all I did was put a couple adapters on so I could get this to work. Uh, this is nothing more than just a little swivel. Well, I can't remember what these things are called that you use for adjusting your uh, camera monitors. That's just straighten it out. And then I got this cheap quick release. I don't have an expensive one. I know they get a lot expensive. But this is, I think, like $25. And it pops right on. If you, if you don't... Yeah, there you go. Locks it on. And that is... That is my setup there, and it works absolutely fine. Um, oh, of course, yeah, of course, yeah, I take my receiver and I hook my receiver in there, and then I just clip it. This is silly, but one thing that I love about this, I clip it right there, and I don't have any noise. I don't have any noise problems or nothing, nothing no shakes. Uh, the, um, the shock mount's a really good shock mount. Um, but yeah, so that's my wireless setup. Put this back. Uh, let's talk a minute about um, this Poe. Now, this Poe has been reviewed a few different times. I know uh, for sure by uh, Alan from Soundspeeds, uh, who was pretty hard on it. Um, but you have to understand, I mean, he's a professional. He uses professional equipment. Uh, he knows good quality stuff. This is very cheaply made. It is 100 No, well, what am I thinking? I think I paid $60 <laughs> for this thing extremely cheap. Um, but it's a matter of what you need it for. You know, if you're needing it to go film Avengers, this is not, this is not the one for you. Uh, way too much handling noise and stuff like that. So I want to review it for a second. Um, they're right. I mean, this is not definitely something that you want to really go on the field with and, and, and try to shoot a, a motion picture. Uh, but for what I do, especially a hobbyist shooting short films and doing talking heads, uh, little interviews, this is fine. It works. It works just fine. Um, it's uh, not the quietest, you know, and, and I mean, it, you know, it works. But I mean, you, you can see how far I'm having to turn it to, to get it to. Sorry, I'm trying to get the camera here. How far I have to turn it to get them to open and stuff. I'm trying to watch the camera and do this at the same time. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm definitely not going to say that it's, it can compare to any kind of the K-Tech stuff or anything like that. Oh, heck no. But <clears throat> I've used it on three short films so far. 
uh, with a little bit of movement, um, people running. And I, as long as you handle it, as long as I handled it correctly, I, I kept it on the foam. I, I make sure not to ever turn my hands. I always turn my wrists very quiet. Now, also, I think one thing is it, worth mentioning is that I don't use cables. <clears throat> now, this has an ability to run a cable through it. I believe the one that Alan from Sound Speeds, I believe that he, uh, he um, reviewed one that had the internal cable. That's probably a whole different ballgame. I absolutely do not uh, have an internal cable, do not need one because I'm completely wireless. Um, so that could be a, a real bad thing about this. But as far as not having the cable, I, it works fine. It works fine. It, it's, I've had no problems out of it. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use it every single day on set or something like that. I don't think it would last. But if you want to go out on the weekend and shoot like I do, uh, this guy, this guy does just fine. Uh, I wouldn't put a cable to it. I wouldn't put a cable to inside of it. I wouldn't put a cable around it just because of sensitivity and, and, uh, and the noise. <clears throat> but that's with a lot of boom poles, unless you start buying the real expensive ones. But uh, yeah, that's my review on this little guy. And uh, that's about it. I'm trying to think of anything else that I might've left out. Um, with my system and the way that I set it up. Um, I wish I could go through the individual little cables, but these are little things that you can get on Amazon. I have no affiliate links. Uh, again, it's my first YouTuber. I have zero subscribers and at this point, zero viewers. Um, but, uh, and I don't know if it's something that I want to do continuously, but I do want to give back from all that I have had help with uh, from people like uh, Curtis Judd and, and Alan and DSL video shooter. And there's a few others too that, uh, that are just great. Kevin, Kevin is great. Um, and I've learned so much from them and I've never been able to, to give back and share if, 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 if there's any value uh, to give. And so I wanted people to uh, see my setup, see what I use and you could go try it out. It's very budget friendly, um, way cheaper than a lot of stuff. It's not crap, because there is there is absolute crap out there, y'all. I've I've bought it because that's all I could afford. You need to up it to a little bit more than than that. Uh, but uh, if you had you a couple hundred, a couple hundred, maybe a couple thousand dollars, and it sounds like a lot, but man, I mean, when you think of a you think of a, a mix pre um, or a 680 or a, or um, what else they got out there, a Scorpio. You know, there's no, there's no way. These don't even compete or compare. You have the Sennheiser wireless systems. You have the, um, the uh, electron, uh, electrosonics or whatever. Those are systems that I work with on set. I don't work with them, but I see them on set. And I can't, I'm not in that budget. I, again, I'm a second teamer. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I'm just doing very, very budget friendly stuff and it's worked for me great. I hope this video helps. I would love for you to share your comments, um, critique. Uh, what do you think about the video? Uh, I know it's first time for so sound lighting. I don't, I don't really know much about that. My son's going to help me edit this hopefully. Uh, but I just hope there's uh, that that uh, I helped people that uh, that that I gave back something that that some something of value. That's that's what I that's what I'm here for, um, and nothing more. Uh, like I said, I don't I don't make any money. I don't do any of this stuff. I'm just uh, I'm off work today, and I thought it was a great day to uh, to uh, throw this video out there and try to help you guys out. Um, but hopefully, I'll see you on the next one if if I if I get around to making one. Um, God bless.